everyone, this is Mark. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. My mother named me Mark. The American tourists found Rome wonderful. She was made happy by her husband. In this lesson, we're going to talk about complex transitive verbs. So stay tuned. Let me tell you first that I've already talked about verbs in various occasions. If you don't understand what an indirect or a direct object is, you may click here to watch all those lessons. However, I'm going to review more or less what uh, verbs can be. Verbs can be transitive, so they take an object. Intransitive, they take no object. Detransitive or ditransitive take two objects. Verbs can also appear with prepositional phrases as they are complement, like hope, for example. And I gave you two examples. I hope for the weather to be nice. In this case, hope is intransitive. Or I hope to graduate early. In this case, we have to graduate early is a prepositional phrase. And hope, in this case, is a transitive verb. But that's another lesson. Then we have verbs that can be phrasal verbs. They can turn into a phrasal verb. So a verb plus a particle, just like get along, get off, uh, get on with, etc. If you wish to watch a lesson on this, you may click here. And then we have the complex transitive verbs. Complex transitive, they look like they have two objects, but they actually act differently from the transitive or ditransitive verbs. Let me show you how. My first example was, my mother named me Mark. In this case, we have the verb name. Then I ask you, what's the object? The object is me, the object of this sentence. What about Mark then? Mark is the object complement. So, is extra to me, right? So, my mother named who? Me, Mark. Let's look at another example. They called her the boss. They called her the boss. The object would be, yes, her. And the boss would be the object complement. So they called her the boss. If you add an adjective, they can also be the complement of the object, right? So for example, the American tourists found Rome wonderful. What's the object? Rome. The object complement? Wonderful. Another example, they considered the man capable of doing the job. What's the object? The man. What's the object complement? Capable. So, adjectives. So, we have two adjectives here, wonderful and capable, that could be object complement of a sentence. The third point that I would like to talk about is that these verbs can also be used in passive statements, just like my examples. Sue was made happy by her husband. In this case, we have a passive statement. If you wanted to make that sentence into an active sentence, we would say, her husband made Sue happy. So what is the object of that sentence? Sue. What is the object complement? Happy. Very good. So Sue is the object and happy is the object complement. So, Sue was made happy by her husband. Let's look at another example. The lady was declared guilty by the judge. If we wanted to make that into an active sentence, the judge declared the lady guilty. So, what is the object of that sentence? Yes, the lady. What about guilty? What is guilty? Is the object complement. Excellent. So, thank you very much for watching. If you want to post your own example, you may do so under this video. If you want to share the lesson, please do so. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. Having said that, 
Thank you very much for watching again and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.